Okay, awesome. This is us. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, my name is Brandon. I'm, I'm a BYU alum as well, so I definitely feel you know at home watching all of the the uh, intern um, kind of system operate. I I, uh, I don't see many familiar faces, but I graduated in 2015, so definitely um, not too far off from where you guys are right now. Um, up, up there, most of you I'm sure are, are in Provo or or maybe it's remote. I'm not sure, but um, we have a lot of BYU Idaho here at Swallow Marketing, and so I need some. I need some extra help from you guys to get some BYU representation down here in our offices. So please know that's my goal is to, to get that number a little higher. So like I said, um, I'm Brandon. I'm one of the co-founders of Swello. Um, I often tell people that I'm the least qualified individual at our agency to perform any actual type of advertising itself. Um, my, I am more of the operations, finance, hiring, team logistics, team building, process orienting, that whole side of things. I definitely have um, huge respect for the everybody else at the business, an incredible team of artists and creators, designers, advertisers, content writers. Um, it's, it's incredible to watch their creative minds work and, and put together services for, for our bank of clients that we support. So um, I want to talk a little bit briefly about kind of where we came from and, and how we got to where we are. Um, we Swello started in a in a tiny attic office here in Mesa with myself, my business partner, his two younger brothers. Um, you know, four guys in an attic with poor air conditioning in the summer in Mesa, not ideal. We had orange and blue lights. All we did was Facebook advertising, and it was kind of this. This you know this dream in the clouds of of what can we do? How can we organize ourselves and mobilize into something special? Um, and uh, we've been super fortunate. We've been really lucky as we've been able to grow. At the beginning of 2020, we had seven employees and one intern. And at the beginning of this year, 2021, we've got 18 full time employees here with us in our not office, not attic office down here in Mesa. Um, we have seven interns. We have a, a full pipeline of interns for, for summer and for fall. So grow, growing at kind of a breakneck speed, it feels awesome. And uh, we, we love it so, as well as kind of, it's, it's just become this really, really special uh, group of, of like-minded creative individuals that, uh, that work together um, very cohesively. So I can talk a little bit about us. Um, this is supposed to be a cool animated graphic, but here we are. Um, a little bit about us. We have over 125 clients worldwide. We do several, we have a couple of clients internationally, even some in Korea, some in England. Um, so we've, we've definitely, we're trying to get our feet wet in terms of the international um, uh, form of marketing. We do a lot of e-commerce, a lot of local businesses also here in Mesa, a lot in Utah, some in California. So we really, our, our uh, client profile are small businesses. Uh, two to 50 employees, a few years of business history looking to grow. Um, our, our business mission is to accelerate growth through innovative digital marketing to help businesses compete. And so we kind of ask ourselves that as we take on new clients, as we offer new services, as we hire new people, um, do those objectives that we have contribute to this mission that we have to accelerate growth to help businesses compete? So um, how we do that is through our is a, through our core services. The way we're organized is we've got a, a Facebook team that does paid paid you know paid advertising through Facebook. We've got Google with SEO PPC. We've got email marketing, social media management, uh, messenger advertising, and then we kind of have our creative services team that does graphic design, photography, videography. Um, we'll build logos. We'll build pamphlets. We'll do packaging. Um, like I said, our goal is to identify um, strategic opportunities for other small businesses in their marketing efforts and to plug in our services to help make that happen. So um, really quick, I, I wanna talk a little bit about um, our culture at Swello. Um, we came together a few months ago and all of us wrote down our personal core values on sticky notes. We put them on a whiteboard and we tried to organize them in a way that represented kind of our universal professional and personal core values as a company and these are the five that we were these are the five buckets we were able to build and and put essentially all of those into so we call them ocean it was kind of like this little 
Leonardo da Vinci moment of inventing or rediscovering um, it. We, with a little bit of workshopping, we got it to spell ocean. And we thought that was very cosmic and cool that we didn't have to do much to get to make it spell ocean. That's kind of our branding. We have the little wave as our as our swallowed logo. So, um, but one pod is kind of our teamwork clause, client obsessed, um, obviously focused heavily on our client success, extreme ownership. Um, we accept, you know, the successes and shortcomings of any outcome that we have influence over. Ahead of the wave is us trying to interpret changes in the dynamic digital marketing landscape, um, understand trends in marketing, consumer behavior, and, and be ahead of those changes. And then our last one is no BS marketing. Um, this one we actually had a 16-foot vinyl sticker of in our old attic office on the wall. And uh, we didn't realize the wall had only been primed and not painted. So when we moved out, we pulled that off the wall and it took off massive chunks of sheetrock with it. And so we say that this core value is ingrained in the very fabric, literally fundamental you know, foundation of our business. So that's, a, that's coming at you fast, 30,000 foot view. That's who we are um, and the services we offer. Um, opportunities that we have, we love interns. 80% of people that have interned with us um, are, are now full-time uh, members of our team. So we, we rely heavily on our pipeline to bring in people um, to work with us in our offices here in Mesa. So we want, we're flexible. Our internships are pretty flexible. We know that different universities have different requirements. And so um, we obviously want to be sensitive to that and, and accommodating to that. They are um, optional, optional remote interns. I know that's kind of important right now for a lot of students considering the pandemic and considering all the changes that are happening. Um, so if you have an, inter, you know, an interest in, in interning with us, we have some positions open for fall and winter of this upcoming year, um, as well as spring, uh, excuse me, of this year, and then as well as um, winter, spring of 2022. So um, intern at Swallow Marketing, that email, go ahead and copy that down if you're interested. Um, feel free to reach out. Also, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, that's something that I, I, I'm totally open to. Um, additionally, we do have some full-time positions for those of you that are graduating. Um, we do pull mostly from interns, but we definitely have some awesome key players here at Swallow that weren't interns and that um, have some awesome experience and, and we're, we're looking for, for those people as well. So please don't be shy, reach out, connect with us. Um, the last um, kind of little pieces of this, I guess, I'm not sure how much time we have left. I don't want to go over, but this is us. We did a, a little, a little uh, skate activity, but um, that's us. That's Swello. Um, really excited to, to see where the future goes. Like I said, growing fast, looking for awesome team players, um, people that want to really dig in and have an entrepreneur spirit and want to use their marketing skills to help other small businesses um, grow and achieve their dreams. So I'd love it if you guys have any questions for me in the couple minutes we have remaining. <clears throat> hey, Brandon. I'm just going to take a drink from my, yes. Oh, you're good. Um, I, I'm <clears throat> actually from Mesa, Arizona as well. Love to see Skateland represented there. Yes, and that's Skateland, absolutely. Yeah, oh, you know I've been there. Every every birthday party, at least one kid had their party there at some point. But I was just wondering, are you, I know you guys are offering um, remote interns, but are you doing in-person internships this summer? Yes, we are. We have a couple of internships with, or uh, interns, excuse me, with us here in the office, um, even right now, so. Um, Perfect. Absolutely. And you're looking for, not just fall, but summer as well, you said? Cor correct. So I'd say the, the, the pipeline that we're really looking to fill is that is that fall, winter, spring out in the future. But we do okay. um, we do have some some capacity for, for, for this okay. upcoming summer as well. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. I also have a question. Um, I was just wondering what you were looking for in terms of like full-time employees, like what those responsibilities are, like roles are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the internships are a little bit, I don't wanna say vague, but they are, they kind of get more exposure to different pieces of the business and um, can be a little more flexible and, and dynamic. The full-time positions that we have open right now are, we're looking for people in, in Facebook, specifically with Facebook advertising experience, 
um, SEO, technical SEO, as well as um, con like content creation um, for SEO. We're also looking for sales, um, uh, like sales representatives, and then also in web design. Our web design, we are at our price points, we typically use uh, web builders. It's less all custom code. We do HTML and CSS. We do some custom coding, but more traditionally, we use um, like Shopify, Squarespace, uh, WordPress, Webflow, things like that, platform builders. And then we will customize it from that from that place. So, but I'd say those are kind of the four main buckets of full time that we're looking to hire um, over the next six to 12 months. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, looks like they're pulling me out. Thanks again, you guys. Please uh, please connect with me on LinkedIn and stay close and, and good luck at your last, uh, however long you have left at BYU. <laughs>